Keep your eyes on the ball, both of them. This is Two Ball. Circle up your players so they're standing equidistant from each other without gloves. You stand in the middle of the circle with two balls, one in each hand. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. You up first, big guy, let's go, ready? Make eye contact with the player and underhand both balls to them at the same time. They must catch one in each hand before underhanding them back to you. Keep track of how many successful catches they make before a ball hits the ground, then challenge them to beat their streak next time. Once they get the hang of it, volunteers can take a turn in the middle. You can make things more competitive by giving players a point for every ball they catch. Whoever has the highest score after five rotations wins the round. There we go. Sure, most players would rather catch softballs and baseballs with their gloves, but that's not always possible. This gives them confidence to barehand the ball when necessary, like catching an awkward feed while turning two. Fielders practice their footwork and throwing mechanics while runners round the bases. This is Beat the Ball. Send five players to the four infield positions and home plate. Then, line up the rest of the group as runners behind the plate. Finally, place a ball halfway up the line between home and third base. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. On your call, the runner at home begins sprinting around the bases. At the same time, the player at third charges in to field the ball as the shortstop slides over to cover third. The fielders throw the ball around the diamond, from first to second to third to home, in a race to get the ball to the plate before the runner does. Heads up! Oh, out of order. Fielders will need to use proper footwork while transferring the ball around the diamond. Remind them to keep their feet moving so they stay in rhythm. Remind runners to ignore the fielders. The best way to beat the ball is to keep their heads down and hustle. Got a boy, good job! Ah! Dig the ball out of the dirt in this game we call Short Hop Showdown. Divide players into pairs spaced about 10 feet apart and give each pair a ball. Everyone starts on their knees. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. On your call, the player with the ball throws it to their partner on a short hop, bouncing it just a few feet in front of them. The fielder then scoops the ball and returns it to their partner in the same way. Every time a player successfully digs a ball, the pair gets a point. The first pair to 10 wins. Then play again, this time with each pair standing up. Remind fielders to anticipate the play in a low athletic stance. Encourage them to find a balance between being aggressive and meeting the ball with their glove, like this. Batting practice reaches a fever pitch in this game we call Think Fast. Line up your team in foul territory. The first player steps up to the plate with a bat. You set up four feet to the side of home plate with a bucket of two different colored plastic balls. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Soft toss two different colored balls at the same time towards the player. While they're in the air, call out one of the colors. Why? The batter will already be in motion and must adjust to hit the correct nice. one. They get a point for every Why? successful hit. After five swings, they move to the back of the line. Whoever has the most points once everyone's gotten a turn wins the round. Pitch recognition is vital when it comes to success at the plate. Yellow! <laughs> Knowing what pitches not to swing at is just as important. Think Fast helps prepare players to make split decisions on game day. White! Nice. Double the tease means double the fun in this game we call Inside Outside. Line your hitters up in foul territory and place two tees at home. One in front of the inside of the plate raised to the hitter's hip. Another on the outside corner of the plate raised to the hitter's thigh. You stand off to the side with a bucket of balls. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. On your call, the hitter swings at the ball on the inside tee aiming to pull it between second and third base. Inside! 
Tee. Go better. After six tries, they swing at the ball on the outside tee, trying to send it between first and second base. Outside. Very nice. Give players a point every time they send the ball on target. Then challenge them to improve their directional hitting in the next round. Pull your hands inside. I'm staying there. Ugh, I'm through that ball. Remind players that even though the tees are in two different areas of the strike zone, the goal for both is the same. To stay inside the ball and hit a line drive without pulling it too far in either direction. Just like that. Learn to field with a gold glove in this game we call Superstar. Create a circle by placing five cones on the ground about 10 feet apart and divide your team into groups of five. Players stand one to a cone with one ball per group. Whether you're playing with baseballs or softballs, this game looks exactly the same. On your call, the player with the ball may throw it to any teammate except for the ones directly next to them. The player who catches it transfers the ball smoothly from glove to hand, then gets rid of it as quickly as possible. Great job. Move your feet, move your feet. Boom, keep your feet moving, keep your feet moving. Encourage groups to track how many catches One. they make before dropping the ball. Two. Then challenge them to beat their record the Three. next time. Four, five, keep it going. No drops. Ah! Remember, a quick transfer is about more than just a fast arm. So encourage players to keep their hands out, knees bent, and hips low, just as they would in the actual game. Tangled. One, two, three, go! Great job. Outfielders take on deep fly balls in this game we call Final Warning. Line up your team on the warning track, the narrow strip of the outfield closest to the fence. You stand about 25 feet away with a bucket of balls. Whether you're playing with softballs or baseballs, the game is the same. One player at a time sets up in front of the track facing you. Toss them a ball that will land on the warning track. They must track and catch the ball while maintaining field awareness of the fence behind them. Give each player five tries and rate their circus catches on a scale of one to 10. They'll love trying to make the highlight reel with a perfect 10. Beginners may be afraid of the wall. That's okay. On a deep fly, remind them to sprint to the wall first and then turn to make the catch. That's the best way to turn would-be home runs into top 10 plays. Nice job. A pitcher's job isn't over once they throw the ball. They also need to play the field. This is pitcher's fielding practice. Line up your pitchers by the mound and set up at home with a bucket of balls and a fungo bat. To start, send one fielder to play first base. All right, here we go. The pitcher simulates a windup and pitch, finishing in proper fielding position, feet and shoulders square to the plate and knees bent in an athletic stance. Once they're set, you hit a ground ball to first and the pitcher must cover the base using proper technique. They run to a point on the first baseline about 10 feet from the bag. From there, they turn and look for the ball, keeping their glove at chest height. After catching the feed, they should make sure to touch the bag with their right foot. After every pitcher has had a chance, play another round. But this time, hit the ball right back to the pitcher who must set their feet, feel the ball, and make a strong throw to first. Finally, send another player out into the field to play shortstop. Hit grounders right back to the pitcher so they can practice turning the double play. Pitcher to short to first. Give the pitchers a point every time they feel the ball cleanly. Whoever has the highest score after all three rounds is the winner. Pitchers love pitching, but that's only part of their job. It's essential they know how to field different plays depending on the in-game situation. Some PFP will help them become more versatile players. Oh, go, nice, nice, nice. Fielders learn to make the play at every position in this game we call Gold Glove. Have your team take the field at each position. You grab a bat and a bucket of balls and set up near the mound. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. Hit balls to every player on the field, starting in the outfield. Send two balls to each outfielder, who field them and throw to the cutoff on the way to second. For the left and center fielders, that's the shortstop. 
For the right fielder, it's second base. Then back up towards the plate and hit two more balls to each outfielder. This time, they throw home. One's hitting the cutoff and the other on the fly. Next up, infielders. Hit grounders to each position and have them record the out at first, except the player at first who throws to third. Then hit to the infielders to turn a double play, from second to first, then from home to third. Finally, finish up with a few pop-ups for the catcher. Keep the whole team involved on each play by calling out in-game scenarios. In the actual game, each defensive play depends on where the base runners are, what the score is, and the number of outs. Getting the out requires fielders to use their minds just as much as their bodies. So make sure they stay focused and dialed in, no matter where the ball is headed.